It's one month until the Nationals, so we've come to our local Atlanta card show to pick up some cards that we think are going to be hot to flip and trade at the Nationals. Let's go. So I made a really speculative purchase at the Dallas Card Show a few weeks ago. This is Desmond Ritter's Prism Black Finite one of one rookie card. The best card out there right now for Desmond Ritter. And look what I just found at this show. His gold out of 10. Wouldn't those look beautiful together? Brian, you've got a pretty strong opinion about who you think is gonna be hot at the National this year because you have an entire case full of Shohei Otani. Every year before the National, I try and figure out who's going to be hot. When I look at all the intangibles, I'm banking on Otani this year at the National. Show me some of these incredible Otani cards that you have in here. We've got a couple of his rookie printing plates. Hand signed by Otani. We gotta show this one off here. Oh, yes. A one of one of two legends. Look at that, Angels Elite indeed. Brian, thank you for sharing the case with us. This You're is back, awesome. Yeah. Appreciate Alrighty. it. Alrighty, so our mission today is to find some cards at this card show that we think will be hot at the National. What players do you have your eyes on today? I think who I'm mainly buying is definitely Joe Burrow. He's made the AFC Championship and the Super Bowl. He has a bunch of up and coming receivers. They're in a hard division, but I mean, they still perform. Justin Fields will be selling a lot. Well, he's the hometown Chicago There'll guy. There'll be a lot. Do you think there's still any buzz around Herbert and Josh Allen? I can't see a lot of hype on Herbert, but I could see a bit of hype on Josh Allen. He definitely won't be as hyped as Burrow, Jaylen Justin Hurts. Fields. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts will be a big one. And I could see some interest around Tua again. Tua's back healthy, and I think there's going to be some excitement around him. No. One more concussion, and he's pulling an Andrew Luck. He's retiring, and all of his cards will go. So we know football is going to be hot because you're going to be about a month away from the start of the season. Yep. But baseball is going to be hot as well. You're going to be past the All-Star break, and you're going to be looking towards the playoffs, right? And even a team like the Angels, who are maybe finally going to make the playoffs for the first time, Mike Trout in the playoffs? Yeah. That would be pretty special. Obviously, Shohei Otani as well, but Shohei's cards are, are already just super hot this season. Always. All right, so you're going to target Burrow. You're going to target maybe a little bit of, of T-Law. Justin Fields. Okay. Well, you look for those today. I'm going to look for some of the same, and I'm going to look for some baseball as well, and we'll see what we find. Let's go. So what cards here are going to be hot at the National? Oh, that for sure. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? So what, what's your what's your price on it? Oh, I'm asking 150. 150? Yeah. I mean, that's. Do you think I'm worth 150? I mean, In that's. In a nine. I mean. <laughs> so you said 375 for the Shohei downtown. Do you mind if I see it? I like the fact it's in a slab strong. Look at that, it's nicely protected. Yeah, so there are actually two different downtowns came out of that, that set. One was the pitching downtown, the other was the batting downtown, and the batting is the most rare. So you said 375 was your ask on this? Yep. So the last PSA 9 sold for 385. Ooh. This is the 8.5, so a little bit of a lower grade than that. SGC 9 sold for 289. I think my offer on it would be 325. I can do that. You do 325? I could do that. Perfect. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very you. much. It's going to be a nice one to walk, to walk into the National with. Still got the Jeff Wilson to bring people That's in. right. That's right. So Market Movers is your best friend at card shows like this. You can look up the prices of more than 1.6 million cards and track your collection on the go. And you can try it free for seven days. Just go to marketmoversapp.com or download the Market Movers app on your phone. How much are you asking for for this Trevor Lawrence? 40 bucks. Yeah, so Market Movers shows that most recently sold for 41. A couple of sales before that that were down closer to 30. Would you do 35 cash on it? Uh, I'm still stuck at 40. Stuck at 40? Yes. You want to trade something for it at 40? Uh, yeah, I'll take a look. Here's some you could take a look at. I like the Jamar, sold for 35. And then 25, 51, and 50 last comp. So I'll be willing to do that straight up for the Trevor. You do that straight up for the Trevor? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. So I got Trevor Lawrence. I was looking to pick up some of his cards, and this is an inexpensive one. I like buying some inexpensive cards like this to have in my case to do trade deals with kids. There's going to be a lot of kids that will come up at the National and want to trade, and I want to be able to trade with them. And of course, they're all going to be looking for names like Trevor Lawrence. How long have you all been setting up at shows? We've been doing cards, not even a year. So do you, you, you just do like kind of a lot of buying and selling, so you're looking to flip in and out of cards quickly? Yeah, other than LeBron, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, other than LeBron. If yes. you have a LeBron, that's sitting, that's, in your, that's, mine. Yep. that's sitting in your collection? Yes, sir. I, I like it. 
So talk to me about these Monopoly cards. You've got a couple of them in your showcase here. Yes, sir. There's been a lot of hype about it. People really love the Prism Monopoly cards. Yes, sir. I think with it being brand new and fresh, that it's gotten a lot of popularity, maybe a little bit more than it should at times. But I really like them. I think they're beautiful cards, and we see like the gold that's to 500. And right. You don't really see gold like that. Right. Other than to 10 or a little bit higher. Right. Than that. Chet Holmgren is an interesting one because he's he's yes. a good player. He's yes. a really good player, and that's yeah. his PSA 10. I can't imagine there's a ton of those out there. No, that's a pop 12. A pop 12. Yes. Okay. What's your what's your asking price on that? Asking 250. Asking 250 for that? Yes. That's not bad. Would you do 225? I you would. do 225? Yes, Perfect. Sir. Let's do a deal. Awesome. There you go. All right, that was a fun pickup, and I think I got it at a pretty good price. This card's number to 500. It's a PSA 10. It's Prism Monopoly. I think there's going to be a lot of people asking about this one at the National. So I want to take a look at the Tua if I could. So that's Tua's rookie card, number to 199 from Prism. A little bit of a color match too. And I think people are starting to get back on the Tua train a little bit this year. What um what are you asking for on this? That looks pretty good. So your two your ask is 250 for that. So if I were to pick this up, I think I'd have just enough time to get this graded and back before the national. And it looks gradable. I don't think it's gonna 10. It's a little top bottom off center. Scoot it up on the card a little bit there, you can see. I think you probably got a good shot at a nine. So let me see, let me look at Market Movers. Market Movers, by the way, we track more than 1.6 million cards in Market Movers, including this one in every grade imaginable as well as raw condition. So Market Movers is the ultimate way to look up cards at card shows or on the go and track your collection. All right, let's see here. Oh, the prices have dipped a lot on this one. Yeah, even the PSA, even, the, man. So to show you how the prices have fallen, the PSA 9 of this card, which is I think probably what it would get if I graded it, before last football season was selling for $420, but most recently sold for $128. Ugh, that is a fall. So you know what, even though, even though I actually do think two is gonna be hot going into the national this year, it's just, yeah, with your ass being 250 on that, I just wouldn't be able to get anywhere close to that. So it's probably not a bad card for you to hold on to and, and see his market heat back up a little bit. So these are these are packs that you made, like cards that you put together and you just want and you're giving these away to kids? Yeah. That's really nice of you. Why do you do that? I didn't have any cards when I started the hobby and so into that like to me. Like I gotta give back to the so you're giving, you're paying it forward. So if you want, I'll take these to the national and make sure that these are given away to kids as part of the card kids packs. You want to do that? Nice to meet you, Trip. That's really nice of you, man. Yeah, keep collecting, keep up the good work. Hmm. That's pretty cool. This kid made repacks out of his own cards to give away to other kids to pay it forward because somebody gave him a pack like this when he started collecting. That's awesome. The hobby needs more of that right there. That kid, Trip, is a hero. You've got Disney and you've got the car that we consider to be Walt Disney's rookie card. It's the Babe Ruth of non-sports cards. I put Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse in the same breath as Ty Cobb and Babe Ruth. Everyone loves Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse. Look at this, everybody. It's a type one photo. That's amazing. So you've literally got one of the original photos that was used to create the card. What an amazing collectible pairing that you have here, Alex. That's outstanding. I love going to local card shows, but if you don't have one in your area, you can still have fun buying and selling cards 24 hours a day, seven days a week on Whatnot. Whatnot has live breaks and auctions that take place all the time, starting at just $1. And if you don't have the Whatnot app, scan that QR code I'm putting on the screen right now or use the link in the show description below and we'll hook you up with $10 in free credits next time you go on Whatnot. What's your asking price on downtown? Uh, $8.50. $8.50? The PSA 10 on that is now a pop three. So a couple, oh, couple, couple others have come through. Oh, Lord. None have sold yet. The last nine sold for $228. The nines have been, yeah, $225, $250, kind of in that range for the nines. So you guys know I'm big on Desmond Ritter this year. Of course, he's my local guy here in Atlanta, so I'm a little bit biased, but I also think Atlanta's got a lot of young offensive weapons. And this is the PSA 10 of his downtown. It's a pop three. Of course, more of these will be graded over time. This is still a rel relatively new set, 
but downtowns are absolutely going to be hot at the National. People love the downtowns and the color blasts and the kabooms. They go crazy for them. And when you're talking about rookie quarterbacks who have up and coming potential, there's definitely gonna be interest in this part of the National for sure. All right, so you said how much cash you want on this? Um, last sale was 835. Okay. Uh, I'll take 750 cash. 750 cash? It's pretty fair, so let's see here. I'm looking in market movers and I'm seeing that raw, these tend to be selling for anywhere between about 275 and 300. Of course, a lot of people in there are hoping they gem it because the PSA 9s are actually selling for less than the raws right now. PSA 9s are selling for around 250, 275, 225, that type of thing. So seven, 750 is a pretty fair price on that. You know, normally with a PSA 10, you're thinking it's a multiple on the PSA 9, maybe a 3X multiple or something of that nature, which was right where this would be. Would you do 700 cash? I'll meet you in the middle of 725. 725? I'll do 725. Let's Sounds do it. Good. There right. we go. Thank you. Good deal. That is a pop three Desmond Ritter downtown. Downtowns are going to be hot. Ritter's going to be a name this fall, at least for me. Look, if nobody buys it for me at the National, then you know what? It's an awesome card for my PC as well, being here in Atlanta. So mission accomplished. I got some of the guys I wanted to get who I think are going to be hot at the National this year. Reeves, did you pick up some cards for the National as well? I did, but you'll have to watch the new card kids video to find out what they were. Nice. Reeves was busy all over the show floor, and that video of his experience buying cards here for the National, it's out right now. Go to the Card Kids channel on YouTube to see Reeves around the show floor. Now, who do you think did better though? What I want people to do is I want people to watch his video and then I want you to come back here and comment who got the better buys at today's card show. You don't even have to watch our video. You already know I have better cards. Oh, uh, whatever. I hope you guys love it. Give it a like, give it a subscribe if you did. And I hope to see you at the National. See you soon.